Bill Beauclair, Managing Director of Bijet Carré in Paris, France. Well, France or the uh, Paris region is the second largest market in the world, so all our figures are huge. We've had a very, very buoyant uh, activity for the last three or four years. We have, um, first of all, we have the uh, a very, very big market of about 54 million square meters or 540 million square feet of offices, and about 5% of that uh, is leased every year. That's, that's uh, it's a very high percentage, and that, that comes to a figure of about 2.5, 2.6 million. So it's very active. We benefit from, uh, uh, after the, uh, the 2008 global uh, meltdown, we had very little development activity. So we have um, not built very much in the last 10 years. Therefore, we have incredibly low vacancy rates. So at the moment, the center of Paris has a vacancy rate of in the order of 2.6%. There's no, no stock available, whether you want new, old, or, or, or something in the middle. Um, and that's actually a buoyant time to be a, a landlord. That's turning into some new developments, but we've certainly, after a number of years of seeing no rental growth, we're seeing enormous rental growth from uh, this new demand. Uh, so we have uh, about a third of our new stock is being taken up by the WeWork and the other um, companies like that, and they're, they're pushing for it. So we're back up now to historic high rents of about 850 euros per square meter per annum in, for, in Paris offices. Well, it's very linked to the French economy, and uh, we haven't been doing that well. We, 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 we took about four years longer to get out of the recession than, say, uh, Great Britain or America. So we've had a, a more of a stagnant economy, we've got very modest rates, and that, that's reflected uh, in our turnover. On top of that, we have all the new um, disruptions to the market. So we have seen uh, a growing dominance from uh, um, from Amazon, but also its two or three French counterparts, C Discount and and Fnac and other 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 groups like that. So we have uh, a, a reduced activity on uh, main main retailers, our Carrefour and, and and Champion and all the other uh, uh, big big boxes. Uh, but they are still keeping some sort of profit. We've seen um, certain high streets affected, but not in the same way as we hear in England. We have a lot of, um, uh, we do have some vacant shops, but uh, there's, there's been, a, the boost has been enormously the tourism and luxury world. So we find that uh, irrespective of a, of, a, of a downturn in some parts of the economy, we've had um, ever growing rents and demand for prime retail in the, in the uh, Champs-Elysees. Um, when you come out to uh, other big boxes or you're out into strip malls in the, in the, in the countryside, that has seen uh, a downturn. The French are shopping in a different manner. Uh, certainly the youth are shopping there. So there is, uh, um, there is still reasonable demand for those that are well placed and well designed. But what, what happens with us is we've got the second largest stock of retail space in Europe and, and beaten only by Stockholm, by uh, Sweden. And so it's a lot of old stuff in the wrong place and it's empty. But that's not quite the same sign as, as we hear in America where you have your 30-year-old uh, um, uh, shopping malls um, with Macy's have left and it's shut and it's, in, it's, it's next, to the, next to a big city. We, we don't really have something as dramatic as that in France.